Hi hey everyone. So the project for today, as the title suggests, is adjusting the pressure relief valve for this 2038R. Now this is going to apply to the large frame 2R, but as well as the 3E tractor. So we'll do the adjustment in the same spot. The 3Es don't have this cover, but uh, watching this video, you'll, you'll be able to do it no problem. Now, for those of you who are only interested in that, I have a chapter uh, below. Jump to that chapter and we'll show you how that's done. But if you are here to talk a little bit or to listen a little bit on hydraulics as well as new products coming from Hydros Plus that can also increase your capacity, stick around for the first part because I think this is actually more exciting than changing your pressure. So uh, for those of you following along, uh, you know that we now have a solution for the 2R and 3E tractors. The large frame second gen 2Rs and any 3E tractor we have a solution for. Um, and of course we've had the solution for the small frame 2R and the 1 series for a while now. With that extra capacity, it starts to make sense that we can actually, it, let me be clear, with the extra flow capacity, it starts to make sense for us to increase lift capacity, but not just with pressure. So if you think about how you increase the capacity of your loader, there are three factors that play into this. There's pressure, there's cylinder, and there's geometry, right? Now geometry doesn't change, so we're not gonna deal with that. But as far as pressure and cylinder, they're directly related. The cylinder has some area on the back of the piston. For this one, it's one and a half inch bore. If you did pi r squared, you will find that the area on the back of that piston is 1.76 inches. Now, the front is different because the rod is taking up some of that space. And I didn't do that math, but you get the point. Uh, you can actually push more than you can pull with any cylinder because of the difference in area. Now, this particular uh, cylinder is one and a half inch bore. The one series has the same one and a half inch bore. And the three series, three E series, has also a one and a half inch bore. Now, they have different strokes and the overall lengths are different, but effectively they have the same ability or pushing ability regardless of the tractor you're on, assuming you have the same pressure. So for easy math, let's just say that was two inches of surface area. We changed to 3,000 PSI, we get 6,000 pounds of pressure. We have two of those, you have 12,000 pounds of pressure. If you lower the pressure to 2,000, you're now at 4,000 pounds of pressure, eight for both, you get the idea. Now on this particular cylinder, uh, 1.5, do the math, 1.76 is the area, times it by 3,000 PSI, and you're about 5,200 uh, pounds of pressure that you can push. The cylinders that we're coming out with uh, in the May-June timeframe will be 1.75 inch internal diameter or bore, and those will have a 2.4 inch uh, square inches of area, times that by 3,000 PSI, and you're able to push now 7,200 uh, pounds of force per cylinder. So you're in the stock configuration at 3,000 PSI, 10 and a half thousand pounds of force to move the boom up. With the new Hydros Plus uh, cylinders at 1.75, you're going to have 14 and a half thousand pounds of force to move this boom upward. Now, on the one series, we're gonna do the same thing going from 1.5 to 1.75. With the 3E series, we're actually gonna go from 1.5 up to two. And the two inches, two inch inner diameter or two inch bore is the same cylinder size as you see on the 320R loader, which is the one on the uh, 3R series tractors. So for those of you who are interested in a 3E or you already have a 3E, but you wanted the additional lift capacity of the 3R, this may be a solution that you're interested in. Uh, the 3R is a great tractor, uh, very nice, a lot of neat features, but me personally, I don't need a lot of those features, and, but one I know I need is going to be some additional lift capacity. So that's coming again very soon. The last thing I'll mention before we go and do the pressure 
uh, adjustment is for the 260, I don't know if you can see it, we got a 260 over there in the corner, and the 270B backhoes, um, the bucket cylinder, and on the 260 it bends, you know, we see all the reports of them bending, um, with the extra flow that you get with, again, the one, two, and three E series now have, uh, in some cases, twice as much flow or almost twice as much flow by uh, increasing the size of that cylinder on the bucket. We're gonna get more scooping power and as well, it's gonna have the 1.25 inch uh, rod on it, so not likely to bend. Uh, I'm not saying it can't be bent, but I don't see anybody reporting the 270 being bent. Uh, and that's the same rod size that the 270 has. So that's what's coming, really excited. Again, we can do this because you have additional flow, so bigger cylinders can make sense. It's not slowing anything down, it's still faster than stock. Um, and uh, you know, I, one of the questions I get more probably than anything is, does Hydros Plus increase your capacity? I will be able to now say that the answer is yes, but certainly not the flow solution. We're gonna have flow solutions and capacity solution. So let me get set up. We'll do an initial pressure test here uh, to see where we're at and we'll make the change and bring this tractor up to uh, the top of the spec. I think it's 3044. Start it up. Get a little bit of throttle. Hopefully you can see that pretty well. About 2,800 is what I got here. Um, and the tractor is warm, but it's not like hot. So that will potentially have a little bit of an effect. Um, I think I have another video showing it at 2,500. I haven't touched it since then. That may have, some, have had something to do with the tractor. It was really hot at that point. Um, I don't know, but we're gonna adjust it based on what we have here. Uh, so I'm going to go up to right at 3000 is where I want to be. So there's our first setting. Let me take you around here and kind of show you where we're going to be working. So under this cover, I have to pull this, let's see, can I get this guy off? It just pulls right off, right? Pull straight up, put that in your cup holder. Um, looks like a couple 10 millimeters and that's probably a 15. So let me go get some tools here. No one really wants to watch anybody take a cover off, so let's skip to the good part here. Oh. This power beyond is in the way. All right. What are we looking for? Right there. So, let me just trash it here. I'll clean that out. This is the same as what is on the one series, just in a different location. Um, gonna guess that's gonna be a 14 millimeter with a five millimeter Allen. So let me go get those tools and we'll get that cracked open. So I guessed wrong on the tools. Um, at least best I can tell, it's actually a 9 16 with a 3 16 Allen. So I'm gonna use a ratchet. I'm gonna use a ratchet here to get it loose, and then I'll use my um, opening wrench. Oof. Ooh, that baby's on there tight. Huh. Oof, a little more than I expected. All right, well, broken loose. So, let's get my 
give you a good vantage point. This is a 9 16th wrench. Now, hmm. there's a little bit of paint on it, but I think that's it. So I'm gonna leave this in here. I'm gonna turn it in. Let's see here. One full turn. If I can. Well, it's a little bit tight due to the paint. Try this slightly differently. Oh, come on. Open it up a little bit more so I can open it up so my wrench can just go against something. There we go. Get my cheater wrench. Let's see here. broken it loose. Maybe I can do it. No, I can't do it. Man, so that's a quarter turn. Half turn. Three quarter turn. Well, I'm just hoping that would loosen up a bit. Roughly a full turn. And I'm not gonna crank this guy down. Put him back where he was. Just enough. It's not gonna leak. We can do a pressure test. There we go. So, see what falls off here. Fire it up. So that was 3,200 at wide open, uh, 2,900 at idle, and about, I think it was 2,900, about 3,000 at, or 3,100 at about 2,000 RPMs. I run this tractor not really above, um, when I do hydraulic work, not above, uh, let me sense this down, 2,000 for the most part. So I'm gonna leave it right there. We'll be at 3,100 right in the operating range that I do loader work. And that will be perfect for me. So, simple as that, bring it up to, you know, 3,044, uh, anywhere in between that, 2488 and 3,044, I'm just guessing at those, but I think that's what it was. Um, make the adjustments, make sure you do this with a pressure gauge. Uh, the only thing we had to take off is this one cover here, it's simple, right? And then, uh, just as a recap, this, you just pull straight up. This is your um, uh, rate of descent or rate of drop for your three-point. All right. So that's it, very simple to do. Bring it up to uh, the, the pressure that, you know, you need, <laughs> you need it to be, but just know that 3,000 PSI to, or 20, about 2,500 to 3,000 PSI is the spec. Um, if you haven't already and you're interested in these type of things, subscribe to this YouTube channel as well as go to hydrosplus.com and sign up for the, for the newsletter. I don't spam, I don't share your information, but I do tell you about new products that are coming out. There'll be new products for this tractor, the 2R and 3E series tractors, 
And I'm also working on a few things for the 3R tractors, but that is a little bit further in the future. Uh, a lot of things are already available for these two tractors as well as the 3E. So hope this was informational. I hope you enjoyed it and I really appreciate you watching.